Now in our tutorial on EdTech Trends, we're going to first off look at your next portfolio item and what's required for your futures study in terms of the processes you'll need to go through, particularly as they relate to the material that we're looking at at the moment in this week around um, trends. Then we're going to look at moonshot thinking and some of the ideas that um, you've been able to come up with and ways we can explore um, ambitious goals in terms of what we'd like to see the future end up with. Then we'll look at the process of creating a futures wheel and look at the ones that you've shared onto Teams and how we can improve those in various ways. Then we'll look at wicked problems and identifying the challenges that are involved in achieving the future that we wish to see occur. And then finally we'll look at trends and some sources of data that you'll be able to utilize in order to explore your various trends around educational technologies. Now, of course, you'll utilize more than just these data sources in your future study, but it'll give you some initial ideas in which to start exploring um, sources of data that can support the trends that you wish to incorporate into your future study around the educational technology that you choose. So I look forward to discussing these with you in the tutorial.